Hi guys, happy November and welcome to my first plan with me bullet journal video. For this month, I will use the November stickers that I have illustrated and that you can find in our shop, vilva.com. I love using our stickers. It's so fast to create a beautiful cover page. For the November sticky sheets, we have a big cover page illustration, blue chrysanthemums, mushrooms in fun and quirky colors, Thanksgiving cactus, and last sheet has acorn and oak leaves on it. I will use all of them in this video and I'm starting out using a few chrysanthemum flowers to decorate a quote that I thought fitted perfectly for November. It says, may it be a time of reflection, gratitude and simple joy. Can it sum up November any better? Now when the year is soon coming to an end, we are starting to reflect on how this year has been, feeling gratitude for family and everything we have achieved so far. And of course, feeling joy that Christmas is on the way. <laughs> the last one might just be me, but I absolutely love Christmas time and I can't wait to start decorating for it, both in my apartment, but also in my planners. But anyway, let's get back to the plan with me. I used our days and date washi tape to make a quick and cute calendar. I just lined up the numbers with a dot grid in my bullet journal. I cut it at 30 since that's how many days it is in November. And then I lined up the washi tape with the dates on it just next to the number one. I also highlighted the Sundays with a pastel purple marker to make it easier to see each week. I decided to make a pretty simple calendar this month, so then the washi tape is super handy. I'm also thinking about making a version in white as well. Sometimes the black washi tape doesn't really fit the theme. So if you're interested, just let me know in the comments below. For the decoration, I used our fantasy mushroom sheet and spaced them out in the bottom of the page. They look so cute together and I tried to space them out both according to size and of course color. There are three different colors. We have the red, purple and pink. And there are different mushrooms. As you can see, I'm not a mushroom picker, so I don't really know the names. But at least I know <laughs> not to eat the one with the dots on. That's basically everything I know but I really enjoy how they look like and I love drawing mushrooms. Uh, I also decided to do two weekly spreads for this plan with me, uh, mainly because I wanted to use all of our stickers. So we have two sticker sheet left and we will start off with the Thanksgiving cactus. But first I'm creating colorful boxes with some markers. I did struggle a lot with the pink one. The nib was super hard and did not follow the page when I draw. Uh, so some areas got a little bit thinner than they were supposed to be, but that's okay. I'm usually a perfectionist, but after bullet journaling for so many years, I'm a bit more laid back when it comes to my spreads. As long as I'm enjoying the process, the result doesn't have to be perfect. I decided to put the Thanksgiving cactus with their pots on top of the boxes so it's like a like a small shelf that they sit on uh, and I wanted to alternate so we have one big and then one small one because on the sticker sheet there are three different designs of the cactus and they come in different sizes so we have three big ones three middle ones and three small ones so I wanted to alternate with between the big and the middle one so I also decided to cut away a little bit of the white so it doesn't show on top of the color. It was a good decision. <laughs> it took so long time to cut it out though that I actually deleted it from this video because I don't think you should have to watch me <laughs> struggle with cutting uh, out the white lines of the stickers. But it made a big difference and I'm happy that I took the time to do it. As you saw in the beginning I cut a uh, middle page in half uh, and created a Dutch door. So now it's time to fill in the back side of the Dutch door. So let's start with making the boxes again, which was really a struggle because now I'm reaching the end of my bullet journal and 
uh, I have so much stuff in it so the page kind of bended closest to the spine but it doesn't matter it looks so cute and I'm very happy with the color choices that I made uh, I do have quite a few markers but not that many that are in pastel which is what I enjoy using in my bullet journal so I should definitely get more pastel colors I did buy a new one that had uh, like uh, primary colors and pastel but all of the pastel colors are so dark that I'm not even sure they can be called pastel colors <laughs> but anyway let's continue in the end I had to move some stickers because I didn't like that there were two big flowers and two small ones next to each other I wanted them to alternate but I put them there just because of the colors but I decided that it was more important with the size than the colors but luckily, our stickers are pretty easy to move. You just have to be careful when you pull them up so you don't rip them. Especially when the shapes are irregular like these flowers are. I was so happy that I moved them. It looks so much better even though the blue pot was on the blue frame. I also decided to use our new Lettering Day stickers for this spread. I really love the stickers and I'm so proud of them. I'm thinking about making more lettering stickers and I will probably start with all of the months. But if there is anything that you want me to do some lettering of, then please let me know. For this spread I chose our black ones, which are actually from our Halloween <laughs> colored collection. I have not made these ones in other colors except black, orange, green, purple and grey, I think. I'll definitely do more colors and I'm already planning on making a winter color collection. There will be planner boxes and these lettering stickers and all our other weekday stickers and also of course the date stickers that you're seeing me using now. For this spread I use our big number stickers which I think always fits very nicely to this lettering weekdays. I really like how this spread turned out. It's so cute and I love the small pots on the boxes. For the next weekly spread I had an idea of filling the top part with our acorn and oak leaves stickers. So it will look like we are under a big oak tree with its branches hanging down. I started to place them out. Uh, I didn't really have a plan except that I used the biggest ones first and then filled in the holes with smaller stickers. It's been so fun drawing all these nature stickers for the different month. I just did the December one and it's very pretty. I love it and I'm excited to do the flower and um, nature stickers that are matching to it. So when I finish the December one we, I only have January, February and March left. So I am thinking if I should try to do it before the New Year's so I can create a bundle with all of the months together. In that case it would only be the monthly illustrations because the bundle will be way too big if I added all of the flower and nature sticker as well. But I think that will be a very nice thing to have for the New Year's so I can offer it like a set for the whole year. But I also have so many ideas of products that I want to make. I even get a little bit stressed uh, because I know that I will not be able to finish all of them which means that I have to make decision on what I should focus on because the time is not enough to do everything which means I need to prioritize the ones that I really want to do first so the monthly stickers might be on the top of the list so it's good that we have finished my planner and that it's ready for me to list everything that I'm thinking about and then I can start designing new things for the shop so keep a look out for that. If you want to see more what I'm doing behind the scenes, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I try to post a video every Friday and most of them are studio vlogs, which means that I'm showing everything that I'm doing during the week. I almost had to use up the entire sticky sheets to make this spread. I only had one leaf sticker and five acorn stickers left.
but it turned out so cute. I continue to use our days and date stickers. It's so convenient to do and if I wrote it myself then my head would definitely be in the way of the camera and you wouldn't see anything. This is another one of our weekday stickers and I am going to try to make a winter version. For the winter colors I'm thinking different type of blues so keep a lookout for that if you're interested in more blue colors. So I will start working on a color palette for that uh, next week I think. If you are interested in any of the stickers I have showed, they are all available in our shop. You can click in the description below to get there. It's now time for a flip through and some close ups of the spreads that I made. I hope you like this plan with me and let me know in the comments what theme you are doing this month in your bullet journal. And please like this video and let me know if you're interested that I make more of these ones. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!